Hi guys, welcome back to Val's Kitchen. Today what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna do an updated shepherd's pie. Guys, I have one on the channel already, but this was well thought about. So I'm gonna do a very nice, I'm gonna do it more nicer and more updated and upgraded. So guys, here are all my ingredients that I'm gonna be using in the shepherd's pie, all right? I have to have my minced meat. Right, then I'm gonna be seasoning. Here are all my lovely seasonings. I have some chopped onion, chopped scallion, garlic, and have some crushed pepper seed, thyme, ginger, sweet pepper. Right, I have some cheese, you know, I have lemon pepper, I need some salt to taste. I have my Worcestershire, I have my tomato paste, I have some black pepper, and after I have a potato, I want to have Put everything together, I have butter, I have milk. Now everything will turn up, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Alright guys, I'm going to start cooking the beef now guys. So I'm just going to just I'm just gonna use one tablespoon or less, just to start the vegetables. The beef already have fat, you know, so we have to be careful and that's the oil. So, Enough. I'm gonna put the onions and some green pepper. Need more green pepper, guys. A green pepper is green pepper in a bot. <laughs> Sweet pepper, right? I have a ginger. I have some thyme leaves. All of the goodies we are going now. Garlic. I will have to have the ham. Um, the flame, not on a high heat, not too high, but you don't want the veggies to burn. So now, when you get get all them flavor here in a guys, when you put in a mince, your beef, you know, yes, the beef gets all these flavors. That is now I'm gonna put in beef. So guys, get all this together in a meat. I need some lemon pepper. You want your flavor to turn up in a guys. You can use anything you want to use, alright? But as you said already, the lemon pepper have been absolved in a guys, so we have to be careful. Just a small amount, just a pinch of salt. Up the flame now, guys, a little right. Turn up the flame. The thing is, when you're cooking a beef, the mince meat, make sure you don't see a red part leaving it. All right, and make sure everything cook evenly. You don't stop stirring and separate them and stir, separate and you know, make sure. Thing, cook the right and crack away. Separate and stir. Properly that you know, because when you cover it, don't know it's a spring a lot of 
juicy ones. So I'm just gonna cover this down. Let it stay there and do its own thing. Alright. Here is where we at. About 10 minutes now. So start to play by the right way now guys. Alright, so you know say I'm gonna put some sister share flavor booster guys alright about a tablespoon Taste the pattern, guys. You have to taste your pot. Okay, I'm so, you know, a little, little small one. This is a, this is 14 ounces. You can see it. I forgot to put it It's gonna take a, about another 15 minutes to finish. Oh. Nothing. I will have some um, mixed vegetables. You can use your carrot, you can cut up your carrot, you can cut up your anything you want to cut up and put in there. But, guys, I have some mixed vegetables here that I'm gonna be using. This is my. Turn on, turn on the stove. You put it in now, I get some flavor. You want the, the vegetable, the mixed vegetable to get all the flavors, okay? You want it nice. So, you can taste, taste this now. Can I put some more garlic? Right, so just taste the fat guys and remember. So I'm just gonna cover it down now and let it finish doing what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm peeling these potatoes. I don't know we have to have a nice cream of potato for going on with shepherd's pie, right guys? some chopped garlic mince you know what kind of mince for garlic just to give the potatoes a little extra flavor right i use about a half teaspoon of salt two pounds of potato i don't want any a lot of salt right so, yes a little of potatoes just cook make a little stir still, right make the potatoes and cook nicely right Yes, guys, this is the juicy beef, minced beef. It looks nice. So, it's a little bit. I'm gonna turn on this. I'm gonna taste it, guys. Because I just taste it. I'll turn on this stove now. Next clip, we're gonna see my mashing my potatoes. Alright? Nice. Nice. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna prepare my nice mashed potato. Alright. So, I'm gonna use a little milk. Not a lot. Potato well actually. So, if you want, you can warm your milk, guys. You understand? But the potato is very hot. I'm gonna put the amount of but I'm gonna use about one, two, or three tablespoons. I use 
give it a little lemon pepper. You know, you want the flavor to be nice. Not a lot. So I want some black pepper. Season your pot, guys. Season your dish. Yes, yeah, season it, guys. Season it. Because I'll, I'll, be, I'll cook the potatoes with some garlic, right? And a little salt. Let me get this potato together and come back here, guys. Here, everything now. We're coming to an end. Guys, look at the potato. If you could taste it, the potato is nice, you see? So what I'm gonna be doing now, just place some at the bottom of the, of the, of the dish, and some at the bottom. some cheese this is an American this is Parmesan one of them is Parmesan and one of them is American blend so this is optional though guys but you know me I want to turn up my thing a little bit more you feel me yeah all right some more potato now Two layers guys you end up with two layers potato first minced meat and then potato again so I'm gonna put some potato on the top of this with some more cheese alright it's in the oven now guys preheating at 350 and um for about 25 or 30 to 30 minutes okay It can come out now than 30 minutes exact. Okay, so let's take it out. I'm gonna make like it cool down now, guys, and then see if I can cut a perfect slice. Alright? You know, some of the taste, man, my food and my cook it, right? But I'm just saying thanks again for watching. Thanks to you all. Remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. Even if you're not subscribed still, thanks for watching anyway. Thanks for the view. Right? Big up on yourself. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Pounds of potato I use so you can do this exact way use three pounds so you get a thicker layer but you know nice it's so nice guys nice wow. mm. 